G'day internet, what's going on? How are we? After seeing all of the crazy Sekiro speedruns that have been coming out lately, uh, I want to kind of touch on one of the strats that is used to kill the Lone Shadow Long Swordsman miniboss uh, that becomes accessible right after the Blazing Bull. This strat is used in a lot of speedruns, especially by Mick Kriz and Little Aggie, who is the world record holder as of today. In this video, I will show you both the miniboss cheese and the optimal speedrun route that's taken from the Ashina Castle Idol. Doing this requires no special equipment, as you'll see. Uh, I'm on the first new game cycle, no health uh, upgrades or attack upgrades, all that kind of stuff. You can do it completely vanilla. Plus, the Ashina Castle Idol is super close, which makes practicing this a lot smoother. So if you find this video guide helpful, consider hitting the sub button and the thumbs up. It really does help me out a lot. I put out guides like this all the time. Plus, I also post my challenge runs and other content from my Twitch stream onto this channel. Cheers. The fight becomes available right after the Blazing Bull mini boss. As I mentioned, you can do this at a very low level. You'll see that my health bar and attack power are both unupgraded. Before we get to the fight, the route to the enemy is quite simple to learn. From the Ashina Castle Idol, you want to proceed directly across the moat and across the outside bridge where there are two guards. Once you're across, veer right and off the ledge. Perform a secondary jump off the rocks and immediately start mashing the grapple button to head over to the Ashina Reservoir area. Here it is again in slow motion. So you want to veer to the right, jump, secondary jump off the rocks, and immediately mash grapple into the Ashina Reservoir. Once you've cleared the gap, simply proceed up the path to the well opening where the Lone Shadow Long Swordsman resides. Now, before we get started, I want to reiterate that this speedrun strat is mostly about placement and timing. We are directing the miniboss into the corner of the arena where we can stun lock him. Because this fight can go very quickly, I'll slow the footage here. Start things off with a death blow from above. From here, remove the lock on and run into this corner, just to the left of the wooden beam. Next, rotate your camera to look at the enemy and as soon as he starts running at you, jump up into the corner wall twice. It's important to not touch the movement stick at all during this part of the encounter. As soon as you land, you will be placed directly next to the mini boss. Start mashing attack here and you will create a stun lock cycle that he is unable to break. Remember, do not touch the movement stick in this process or you'll break the animation. When the enemy is in this stun lock, keep your eyes on his posture gauge. When his posture breaks, it is imperative that you lock on before you can execute a death blow. That's all there is to it. This is useful for both a casual playthrough or a serious speedrun attempt. As I mentioned, be extra mindful of your inputs and you'll be fine after a bit of practice. So you drop down death blow, position yourself at the wall, jump over him to push him into the wall, stay unlocked during attacking, get his posture up slowly but surely, then immediately lock on once his posture is broken to go for the death blow. This is an example of me not doing the final lock on step. And you can see how fast things go downhill from here. Finally, here's a clip of little Aggie, the current world record holder, executing the strat perfectly in his latest run. So he runs across the bridge here, Curves around, jumps across, does it flawlessly, <laughs> first try, straight up, drops down, death blows, runs into the corner, he sugars here, jumps over, immediately starts hitting without locking on, starts building up his posture, then right here, as the posture breaks, he locks on, death blow, and that's a lone shadow long swordsman completely done. So again, if you find this video helpful, uh, consider hitting the sub button and pressing the thumbs up, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.